Hi everyone, uh, this is Saucy the Traveling Tobo Chef. I'm going to start off this video uh, explaining what happened to us this past weekend. Uh, there, I didn't get any video of it because I was not allowed to, but I did get one picture which I will show you. Uh, seems to me that we got uh, caught in a big huge fishing net. So yep, we're the big fish. Uh, so. Uh, attached to those fishing, to this fishing net were a few anchors and it wrapped around uh, this rod I'm about to show you right here and it uh, it literally bent it into a V and if you see how big this rod is it caused some damage but it, not enough to where we have to go into dry dock to get it fixed from what I understand it has been fixed and it was fixed underwater by the divers from what I understand I uh, I don't know the schematics of it uh, the maintenance of it and how that happened again I'm just the chef on the boat I don't uh, get involved in these aspects uh, due to the fact because I'm a, on a need-to-know basis if it doesn't have to do with food, guess what? Saucy sometimes is left in the dark. Even though I did ask a lot of questions. And I did have a lot of fun with the divers messing around with them. Because they did come in and eat some of my food, which they enjoyed. But that is what happened this past weekend. Now, continuing on to this video, I have made some barbecue baked beans. And I made some braised pork uh, ribs. Country pork ribs. So stay tuned, be right back, and I'll show you those recipes. Howdy everyone. Today's recipe is gonna be uh, barbecue baked beans. Tobo style. Y'all, uh, some people have asked me, what is Tobo style? Well, we don't get uh, have a store nearby, so if we're out of certain ingredients or we don't have the certain ingredients, we can't just go out and get them. So we figure out with what we got, we put together. Anyways, like I said, today's is going to be the barbecue baked beans. So be right back. Welcome back everyone. Okay, let's start off with the ingredients. We've got brown sugar. That famous thing I always say five times fast, Worcestershire sauce. Ketchup, mustard, and of course my secret ingredient, molasses. Then we got northern beans, kidney beans, and the uh, home style baked beans from Bushes. These are all Bushes cans. We all love bushes on it. Then we have bacon and onions. So let's put this all together. One second, be right back. Okay, before I go any further, some people always ask me, what does your t-shirt say? Well, this one says, warning, I am the female chef. Be kind to me because I control what goes in your food. The guys get a kick out of it. Alright, first what we're going to do is we're going to chop these guys up. Don't take much, you can just break them up or chop them up. This was leftover bacon from uh, this morning's breakfast. I always try to find some use. If not, I'll still crunch them up for the guys and their salad. That's about good enough. Uh, this is about a uh, half a large onion, very large onion. Sometimes I think they shoot uh, onions up with steroids or a lot of these vegetables. Or they have one hell of a miracle grow. Now, uh, the great northern beans and the kidney beans, make sure that you drain them as best as you can. Add those in. Let's make some music here. Okay, so I'm not in Jamaica. Whatever. 
toss those out. No, gotta keep you gotta keep uh, Butch's baked beans juice in here too. So somewhat. There we go. Hey, if anybody can think of a good song, I'll try to make a tune here for you. But then again, I ain't a music maker. I'm a chef. Oh, and remember, I'm a scratch cook. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, I would say probably with this much, about a half, about two and a half to three quarters cup. Uh, maybe a cup. You go by taste. You want it kind of sweet, but the barbecue flavor as well. So, again, I would say about a quarter cup of Worcestershire. About, about a cup of ketchup. And about a tablespoon of mustard. One thing I always love. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. There it goes. I'd say about a tablespoon of that as well. You don't want to over sweeten it. But these guys, they love this molasses. And of course, I didn't bring a spoon. Blooper! Be right back. Mix it all together, see how it looks so far. Now, my next thing I'm going to be uh, buying is a, a longer tripod. So you can see inside my bowls. Have it looking really good. And I keep hitting that cat muff. Dead cat muff, I should say. Not the live one. Don't they look good already? It's not even baked yet. So, I'll be right back. Just one moment, I've got to go get the baking dish. Here I am. Spray it good on the sides of Pam. I swear I live by this stuff on the boat. Pour it in. If your dish is too full, make sure you put a pan underneath it because it will boil over. This will be just right. Make sure you get all the juices in together, mixed in well. Whoop. Again, damn cat's in the way. Blooper. There we go. I put it in the oven for about uh, an hour and a half, two hours at 350. And then uh, pull it out and you can see what it looks like. Make sure you uh, do it uncovered. I just have the uh, lid here on the side for when it comes out. So be back in a few. Well, let's see how the uh, barbecue baked beans turned out. Mmm, smells good. Oh yeah, they look delicious. Anyways, I need both hands to take this out, but I'm going to end this video, this part of the video right here. I wish you all a wonderful day, and I'll talk with you soon. Howdy everyone. This uh, part of the video, I am going to be making uh, braised country style pork ribs. So stay tuned and I will show you all the ingredients. Okay, 
Uh, being that I have approximately six to seven pounds of ribs, I am doubling up the recipe. But since I'm going to be putting it in two pans, I've got to make them separate. So start off with two bowls. Each one will have chicken stock, celery, uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, two celery, uh, one onion, uh, diced uh, the minced uh, garlic, about two tablespoons, two bay leaves, quarter cup of uh, apple cider, two tablespoons of paste, uh, tomato paste. Both of them will have carrots. So as you can see, I have the all separate to put in those two bowls. Here are the ribs. Uh, so I'll break them down and show you how I prepare them. So be right back. Okay, let's say I get them all processed together. Uh, we'll start off with one bowl first of the mixture first. Two and a half cups stock. Bay leaves. Garlic. Of course, I forgot my spoon, so bang, bang, bang. Here we go. Let's get some metal drums going here. Apple cider. Guess what? I forgot to open this up. Be right back. And I gotta get a spoon. Bloopers galore are starting off already. Now when I say tablespoon, remember, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, dash of this, dash of that. Here's the tablespoon I use. Hell with those damn measuring cups and measuring spoons. I hate when these things stick on. There's one. Whisk those in together. Why don't I ever come prepared? I got too much stuff I gotta do throughout the whole day. I can't remember every little piece. Uh, so I'm old. Hi, right. I'm going to uh, pause this video here because I got to make up the other batch real fast, and then I'm going to get out the ribs and show you how I prep the ribs. All right, be right back. Okay, we're back. You got to have a really sharp, good knife for this. Trust me, this is one of my personal chef knives, and it stays sharp. I make sure of that. You always want to remove the membrane no, so because the membrane is what makes it tough. I'm going to show you a quick secret of how to get it started and how to pull this thing off. All right. Just maybe, just maybe. I want one to cooperate with me here. Uh, guess what? It's gonna come. Look how fast and easy that went on that one. Okay, I'm back. I. You have to cut them up to be able to fit in the, these pans. Remember, towboat style, we don't have large restaurant equipment, meaning pans. So we make do with what we got, and 
improvise. All right, first thing you want to do is spread out these onions. Celery. Now I use baby carrots. Some people chop them up from the other ones. You want them about this size. It's just a guesstimate. I would say maybe about 15 here. Whoops, I forgot the celery on this one here. And salt and pepper. Not too much salt because pork is loaded with salt. I have some people here on the boat that have high blood pressure and so forth, so I have to be very sparingly with it. I do just enough to give just a little bit of flavor. I don't salt it that much. Let's see. All right, now. Make sure it's all stirred up. This is where we put the other stuff on. Just pour it right over. You're gonna get a lot of garlic. Try and get that spread out evenly. God, don't they look good already? See, there's one bay leaf. There's the other one. I try and get them evenly out. That's one. Oh, that's a folded one. And there's the other one. Now what, what I'll do next is I'll put foil on top of them, pop them in the oven, uh, approximately uh, between 275 to 300 depending on the, uh, the oven itself. Uh, my oven, I've got, uh... okay, sorry about that. I had uh, one of the uh, guys come in. Unfortunately, uh, he was trying to get in the video, but he, even though he said before he did not want to be in the video. So I had to stop. I, hopefully I can edit him out of that. You might see a quick glance of him because of it, uh, because I wasn't able to edit it out completely. Anyways, I put it in the oven. Uh, with my oven, I put it at 300. And, uh, so, and I let it cook for approximately two and a half to three hours. Uh, so the last half hour, I take the lid off and I let it brown everything. You'll see when we come back to do that. So, see you in a few. Oh my God, they look yummy. All right, this is how I serve it. Just watch what, how they fall apart. Ah, this must be the one with that membrane on it. That's why this one's not falling apart. But you see how tender they are, though. Look at this. Look how they just come right off that bone. See? 
Told ya. That's one pan, pan done. Let me bring up the other one. I'm trying to do this while this boat is shaking, rocking, rattling, rolling along here. Oops. Don't pick up by the boat. See, if I pick up by the boat, look at it. The boat comes right off. Don't worry, the goodies are going to be put on the stove. Oh my. Ooh, heck yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I paused that for a second. I had to stop to think what I was going to say. <laughs> Check this out. I'm trying to keep it from steaming up. But oh my god, the smell is fantastic in this galley. I wish you could join us. <laughs> 